Okay, on today's Fixing Bugs and Stuff, we're going to work on the front fender well. So this area has a lot of rot to it, as you can see. Um, I started to remove some of the rot just by taking a screwdriver and start poking around in here. But since the heater channels are off, you can see where the rot is. You can see it here. Um, look underneath, see there's some some light coming through. It's just it's a hole there. So it's best just to remove it. Um, I do have a video already where I show how to move. There was some rot in here in the post. So I replaced that piece. That came out good. So um, now we're gonna work on this area moving forward. So let's start by uh, removing uh, the stuff. We're gonna do again, straight cuts like we normally do, and then just replace it. Okay, so we're gonna mark this. We're gonna go up about two inches. If you have a, if all of this is rotten for you, then um, try to find an edge, an edge, whether it's here or way over here. Uh, to measure from, but not all of this is rotten. It's rotten from, um, basically from this here, I'm gonna mark it, it's rotten from here over. That's where I'm gonna cut. And I'm gonna go to cut about two inches up. Two inches up from this edge here. So let me mark that here, two inches up, and I gotta Another edge over here. I'll mark two inches up. And I'll press it going across. It doesn't have to be perfect going all the way across. As long as you just be able to get rid of the, cut out what you want. Um, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. Let's see if that's two inches up. Yep, still two inches up. Um, but I wanna have a straight cut. So let me cut this piece out. And if I need to go further, to my left, I'll go a little further, but for right now, I'm gonna stop right here. here. No good. Okay, so I finally cut this piece out here. No problems. Um, if you have any metal that's in question, take this tool and poke around and push on it. Poke around. As you can see, this is good metal all around here, but not here. So, since I got the metal, might as well cut it continually. And I'll cut it to probably this point here along this contour and then um, replace it so that'll be what's next okay so let's uh, let's mark it here so we're gonna go straight across this way so we're marking where we're going to cut I'm gonna take that off see what it looks like um, I'm sure there's rot in there but there's one hole. It's not totally bad, but I just I have the metal, so I'm just gonna replace it. Okay, gives you an idea of what's behind it. Uh, you see that? Uh, you see the rot there? Um, that's not good.
All right, so I'm gonna get my tool and poke around in here. Oh. Actually, I'm gonna remove this paint here. I'm gonna see if I expose the metal, see if anything comes out rotten. And if I have to, I'll cut more over this way. Okay, there's some pitting there. If you can see it or not, get closer. Just go ahead and poke around. See if it goes through. Um, metal's bending a little bit. I mean, this is kind of thin sheet metal. It's not, I can move it with my hand. Uh, doesn't mean it's weak or rotten. Um, but it looks good. Looks fine. So I'm not gonna, but this all looks good. So we'll stop there and we'll continue on. There's another spot over here. This has been separated and it's rotten through. So um, first I'm gonna bend this. First I'm gonna bend this back to where it was. And all this does, um, if you can see it here. This, all this does is wrap around the uh, the heater channels and it comes straight down. I bent it because I was working with it and trying to get the heater channel out. Okay, at this point, I'm going to uh, cut a section out here so I can fix that. Um, so, it's not horrible. I just don't like big holes and things not joining together properly. Oh, I forgot, before I cut it out, let me mark it so I don't go overboard. Actually, this is all good metal here. So I'm just gonna take it down this way. I'd rather have like a lap joint I can butt well too. Okay, the piece is cut. Uh, that's all that's left of it. Kind of fell apart. Um, you can see in the back of it, the metal's not bad. You see, I already cut out the, the bad, the rusted metal already. So, um, these pieces are not bad at all. I just want to replace this area. It's just all chewed up from me cutting out the rot. So that's no problem. So first things first, take this panel here. And we're gonna cut it up to match all this. So it goes. It goes like this, right in here. Good so it makes any sense here, and we get a better view. That's how it goes in. Um, you have to, again, work with it. Just have to, I mean, it matches up okay. It's not the greatest, but uh, we'll make it work. No problem, so I'll cut out the pieces that I need out of this guy. This. The funny thing here, I'll show this to you. There's a lip here. Now, I don't know if it's, if it's because they stamp these parts and they have to have this lip here, but this lip doesn't belong. So a lot of these have lips like this and just have to cut off. But okay, we're gonna measure this out and then uh, weld the pieces in. This whole section needs to be replaced it's about eight inches. So I will take the cut length to about, eh, about 10 inches. So I will cut this guy from here, from this corner, we'll cut 11 inches, this section out here. So let me go do that now. Okay, shape the piece. A little better. Um, I kind of miscut here. I had to use the uh, 
the cutting wheel got a little crazy here and the lines got off, but it's not a big deal. It's a tiny gap. I can always weld that in. Um, but it's all put on here. Uh, following the contour, you can see the contour here. It follows this here. And the hole doesn't really totally match the other hole for in here, but that weld nut's fine. It's not rotten, so it, it's good. And there's a contour that matches it here. So what I'll do is I'll go on the back side of this plate and then mark it where I need to cut. Cause I need to cut this off here. And this plate's a little larger than what it needs to be. So uh, I'm gonna do that, go in the back of this here, mark it, cut it, and then fit it up. Okay, I trimmed it down a little bit more, but we're getting really close. You see it's starting to fit here. So I have to trim down on this a little bit more and it will work out perfectly. So let me go do that. Let me grind this down a little bit more, trim it up. I'm gonna have to bend it just slightly, but uh, it's looking good so far. Okay, so I prepped the whole area here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack weld some areas here, get into place, remove the magnets, and then uh, start working on welding it. Uh, you can bend this. As you can see, this is following the contour down. So it's all ready set up. So as I weld it into place, uh, I can definitely move it around, even with my hands. So if I have to use a hammer, I'll use a hammer. No big deal. So let's get to welding. <laughs> Okay, I welded here. Um, so it has a little bit of a bump here, but I can bang that in if I needed to. Um, no big deal. It's not that bad. And um, I'm going to continue on to the left here, but I need to shape it a little bit better. It's kind of sticking out. So that'll be my next step. Um, but overall, it came out pretty good. is going to weld this gap here to this uh, contour, this edge here. Then I'll make sure this is flat here. Then weld the rest of it. So you weld a little bit, uh, straighten it out with the hammer, and keep going. Okay, got it where I want it. Hammered it in. It's a little bit of a big gap here, but no big deal. Uh, just have to be careful not to make a mess. I'm gonna weld this together, clean it up, and see if I can build on to the next uh, cutout. Okay, this part is pretty much complete. I clean up the welds. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna move on to the next thing, which will be that notch over there. That, uh, this notch here will be the next thing. But overall, it turned out pretty good. Right, so I'll take this guy here, and I'll cut off a piece like right here on this corner. I'll cut this out first, and then I'll shape it to whatever this is. Cut a piece to fit in here. Um, there's a little bit of a big gap here, but we'll fill it in, no problem. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the piece, and I'm not going to bore you with welding and grinding again, so I'll, uh, the next thing you'll see is this all finished up. Well, it's all said and done. Um, this came out pretty good, uh, putting in the new panel here, um, wrapped it up to over here, so that worked out pretty well. Um, it's pretty much done for the, 
for the passenger side, um, these holes here will be for um, spot welding on to the other, uh, this uh, front firewall here. It's missing a piece. So uh, that'll be kind of like the next step, but I like to clean up some other things, um, make sure it's all good. But hopefully this video helps you out. Um, thank you for following me on this journey. Uh, finishing up this car, but it won't be too long. So anyway, uh, please uh, like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, thank you for watching.